let's meet our next potential fooler. My name is Vinny Grasso. I perform a smart, sophisticated, and sometimes cerebral type of magic. I am a author, magician, speaker, consultant, very focused individual. Harry Houdini was the longest running president of the Society of American Magicians. It's just crazy to think that I was also the president of this organization. I've done this effect before, but not like this. And the way I've modified it is really an homage to Penn and Teller. I can probably count on one hand the number of times I've been really nervous or fearful before a show or a routine that I'm doing. And this is gonna be one of them. A magician wearing a tuxedo. How many of you get the sense that something cheesy is about to go down? <laughs> Throughout my life, I've been labeled a picky eater. Many people say I have a problem. I like to think of it as a gift. I have an acute, superhuman-like sense of taste. I'll prove it in the most scientific way a magician knows how. With a deck of cards. <laughs> and a volunteer. At choosing a volunteer, there's an art to it. You need to find someone that has just the right temperament, someone that won't upstage you. I found the perfect person backstage. Please welcome Carrot Top. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hello, John. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. It's fun, fun, fun. Carrot Top, can you inspect these? Great, yes, thank oh, you. Thank you. Okay. No. Check them out. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it. I can tell that some of you are skeptical. Well, at least two of you. So I'm going to eliminate any possibility of me doing something sneaky. Nothing wrong with the cards, no, they right? Good. They look good. Okay. <clears throat> A little out of order, but they're good. Uh, I'd like you to check my ears out. Make sure I'm not hiding any sort of listening device. Let's see, let's see here. Nothing there? You look cough real quick. All right. <laughs> Okay. We'll get to that. You look good. You, okay. look, you look clean. You look clear. Great. I could be wearing a wire. You know, some sort of signaling apparatus? Yes, yes. Should I feel you up? I'm not. Okay. I'm not. They don't seem terribly convinced. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I had the same thing. <laughs> They're not 100% convinced. Now I need the flashlight again. <laughs> and I'm not going there with you. Uh, Carrot Top, yes. <laughs> you're gonna have to vouch for them. Okay. Do I stand here, stay here, yes? Right over here. Over here, okay. Don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and that's it, that, okay, good, that's it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the water is very cold, the water is very cold. <laughs> Carrot Top. Yes, no! <laughs> Do you see anything funny? Uh, oh, yeah. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Am I wearing a wire? No, you're not wearing it. No, I don't believe so. No. I, I feel like Carrot Bottom right now, but okay. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to eliminate my sense of sight. It's already better. You can't see me. It's already better. We need one more piece of tape. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to take the cart. Oh, man. Crap. Yeah. It's OK. I, I carry a spare. Oh, you, uh, you, uh, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I supposed to get these? Oh, yeah, you can, you can use these right over here. That's great. That's great. Okay. Can you uh, check those out? <laughs> check it out. Yeah, m make sure there's nothing wrong with those either. And uh, I'd also like you to remove one card. We're OK. And look at that card. Show it to the audience. Now, even though my eyes are clearly shut, some people may think I can peek. So, never show the face of the car to me, okay? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I've eliminated any possibility of me knowing what your card is, with the exception of my incredible sense of taste. So I'm going to stick my tongue out, and I'd like you to tap the card, just the tip, on my tongue. Should, should, go my, back to, should it go back to his holy spot? With, with my acute sense of taste, I can tell that your card is red, am I right? Uh, yes. Of course I am. I, I get it, though. It could have been a lucky guess. Tap it again. Okay. 
A beautiful tongue, by the way. <laughs> a diamond. Good. It, was, it was either that or hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap it one more time, but hold it a second longer. Now you, now you get, now you get weird. Carrot Top, with my acute, superhuman-like sense of taste, I can tell that your card is not just red, not only a diamond, but it is the king of diamonds. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Carrot Top, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Wow. How do you do that? Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny Grosso. Awkward. Can Just I keep your stand eyes over here? Mind. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for letting Carrot Top be your assistant and not me. <laughs> um, Should I be offended by that? Well, I just. <laughs> Do you need some clothes? Should I we'll help get you? There. <laughs> okay. I'll just take off my heels because I, I don't think I want to be too high up. <laughs> there we go. That's better. That's much better. Um, and, and are you uh, hoping that, that by being naked, that's sort of a distraction technique? I, I don't know. You can't really distract them. They're, right. They've seen it all, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Um, which one of us do you think is more uncomfortable, you or me? Uh, since I've been doing this quite a few times, probably. I, I was probably more than you the first time I did this, but now... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if you fool them? Are you going to come out to get your trophy? Of course. Really? <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> Pen, tell her. Let's help. Help me. Can you expose his trick? <laughs> It's a great, it's a great act. I do want to give you a, a little bit of trivia. Uh, the first full frontal male nude on stage in Las Vegas on the Strip. Do you know who that was? Was it you two? Yes. Yeah. We were the first people. Yeah. We did a thing we wanted to show nothing up our sleeves. But you added to that uh, the idea of wearing a wire, which is really, really, everybody knows that from, from uh, police television shows, and adding that in is really nice. This whole thing is perfectly justified. It's really great. I also want to make clear, it's very important to people at home, uh, Carrot Top uh, was not a stooge. Well, Carrot Top is a stooge in the sense that... <laughs> There was nothing prearranged. But there was nothing prearranged. Yes. He was not part of the trip and whatsoever. he had no idea what I was doing. I also think, and I'm going to ask you this, I believe the blindfold is legit. Is that right? I'd never seen the eyelids taped down with clear tape. When you put more stuff over it, it's easy to fake. But I don't think you faked the blindfold at all. I didn't. I think it's an actual blindfold. Yes. And that's a really cool way to do it. And Houdini, you know, did a lot of stuff nude. And then he would use the fact that he was nude and had something in the way to actually help with the trick. And we think you've justified that screen perfectly. And we do not trust that screen. Could we look at that screen? You can we examine the screen? Absolutely. I think there's some sort of queuing device behind the screen. I just want you to know objects behind this screen appear smaller than what they really are. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so glad I don't have their job. Wow. 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 The fool of us. The fool of us. Really? The fool of us. <laughs> One successful fooler so far. Will there be more? Find out after this. Yeah.